William Ruto's ruling party UDA has removed Party Secretary General Clofus Malala, replacing him with Party Vice Chair Hassan Omar, who now takes over in an acting capacity. The early morning decision by the party's National Executive Board puts to an end a chaotic week at the party's headquarters as rival factions locked horns on Malala's contested slot. President William Ruto, who toured Baringo County on Friday, called for an end to the party wrangles. The exit of UDA Party Secretary General Cleofas Malala from the ruling party was met with jubilation by the party's founding members, allied to the new Secretary General Hassan Omar, who takes over in an acting capacity. A decision taken by the UDA National Executive Board in an early Friday morning meeting ended Malala's tenure at the party's helm after one year and seven months. Where we take issue is the deliberate scheme to sabotage the party, to sabotage the leadership, to sabotage the membership, and to sabotage, most importantly, the president, the state, and the security of the, of, of the state. Malala, who went to court on Thursday to stop the next meeting, found himself time-barred after an order by the political party's disputes tribunal came in late, long after the decision had been made, around 7 o'clock Friday morning. The new change of guard was celebrated in Mombasa, where Omar is seeking to contest the gubernatorial seat in 2027. Since independence, 1963, The writing was on the wall for Malala. This week, lawyer Joe Halende stormed the party headquarters, declaring himself the new secretary general in a chaotic week that led to Friday's next meeting. Political observers will be keenly watching to see whether the exit of Malala and the entry of Hassan Omar will end divisions in the ruling party as President William Ruto consolidates his power not just in the party but also in government ahead of the 2027 poll. Apul Kamau, TV47 at UDA headquarters.